Yo guys, what's good? Asi once again with another Exosphere's video. Usually I don't make videos about this kind of sensational topic, but we actually got pretty good news on the FC Lepin banner. So let's get into that. So let me give you a little bit of like the story that unfolded around this whole thing. So today at around 10 p.m. UTC or 10 a.m. UTC, um, the Fate Core increased chance was not the usual. Um, let me quickly get you there. Uh, not the usual 0 0.7, but 0 0.3. This was an error made by Lion Games, and it shouldn't have happened, but it did. They are only human, they can make mistakes too. So, during that period, a bunch of people either thought, oh, maybe I should just try to gamble for a bug abuse and hope for compensation, or just unknowingly pulled on that banner, because not everybody checks the chance. So. A couple hours after this happened, like I was actually not even awake during that time uh, the whole bug happened. The whole news started like, hey, uh, the chance was only 0.3, compensation, compensation, compensation. And Lion Games said, yeah, sure, um, everybody who pulled during the 45 minute time frame from like 9.28 or 9.48 to like 45 minutes later, will be able to keep everything they pulled plus get a full reimbursement for everything um, they pulled. So if you pulled 19 times to pity, you get 14,000 Zest basically back. And you can keep everything you pulled. Which is massive because that's 19 mews, it's 2 of the mileage points, it's 10 of these or 20 of these high grade mileage and I ran some of the maths um, it's actually quite big so in average you're pulling an additional FC you're pulling like four or five faded characters and you get a bunch for that so in total that's actually a value of like 300 to 600 dollars depending on how lucky you got with what you got right so there was more outrage about that obviously and it was kind of mixed because some people said like hey we invested in this kind of like make it seem a little bit nicer that they abused the bug they were kind of unhappy like hey you didn't spend it so you shouldn't get compensation and yes and no because it just gives players such an unfair advantage that you don't necessarily want to have this happen ever in the game you don't want one player to have such a massive advantage just because they were able to abuse a bug and get rewarded for it. So I didn't expect any follow up coming today, but Line Games did a phenomenal thing. So they just posted this, which is why I decided to actually make a video about this. They basically say, okay, we understand uh, this is we we had a tone deaf reaction we just wanted to compensate everybody so everybody would be happy but we miss out that we should also be fair to everybody else so now their new strategy is so not only the people who pulled on the banner in the 45 minutes while this bug is occurring uh, was occurring will get reimbursed but everybody who already pulled on the banner so you will get um Whatever you already invested, let's say you pulled two minutes after they fixed the bug, you pulled on the rate up, you got nothing basically besides the 700 Zs, you will get fully reimbursed up to 19 times. So basically up to pity. Everything above that, um, yeah, that's on you. So, but in a good news that basically everybody gets is Everybody who pulls on the banner in the next three days will be able to basically invest all their zes and get them back. So for me, I have 4000 zes and I can pull on this without having strong regrets, right? So whatever I'm pulling from here will essentially be 
uh, a bonus for me. And since I need the Muse, I thought, yeah, sure. That's great. And this is especially good for people who basically got shafted out by just sleeping, right? In my opinion, this shows that while line games might not have the initial correct response to things, they're not tone deaf and they listen to feedback. And maybe this can help them in the future to be more aware of these issues. Like what happens when a bug like this occurs again? Because in all honesty, this can happen. Like usually those things are just in a deploy, the number is messed up and it's done. Like it, it could be simple as that and nobody noticed because... Um, somebody else pushed a feature or whatever it might have been, right? It's it's really easy to make those kind of mistakes and not notice immediately. So what does this mean for the future for us? Because in all honesty, this is... um, Yeah, it is kind of setting a precedence where... If they do something like this, what kind of compensation can we expect? Coming from the gaming industry, I hope that this is a one-time thing and they will think about a proper compensation strategy next time where they get it right in the beginning and not have it being like this for an entire day where especially some of the other content creators already created like two videos maybe even three with all the adjustments that come in and now they're creating a new video again um which confuses most of the people because not everybody watches every video not everybody is on discord on uh on facebook or wherever else they push the news so yeah um i have sort of mixed feelings about this because this can get into a slippery slope where people actively trying to abuse bugs because they hope for compensation. And I don't want people to have like the mindset of this is encouraged to do. If you see a bug, even if it's profitable, It might not be that you get compensated right away or that there's any compensation at all. You might actually get into more trouble because bug abuse is usually like not well appreciated by gaming companies. Like every software has bugs, everything can go wrong. But if you try to profit from it in a semi-malicious way, then, yeah, it's not good. So I would be careful if something like this happen again um, and just wait. Oh, um, did we get her? Woo, we get her. It's a fusion for me, so that's definitely great. I hope you guys will be able to pull her as well. Um, we're just getting these summons done and then I'm already out. There's not much to say from my side besides they might have done a little bit like the communication hasn't been on point. However, they have shown that they can adjust whatever mindset they had and listen to the community. I hope this is also an indicator that with all our other feedback that they are not tone deaf. For example, things like Labyrinth, where it hasn't been the exact same thing that we wanted it to be, um, has been like reformed in a way where it's not fun but a chore, and even though you get a little bit less resources, which I don't think is bad, 
I think the resources are actually on point for what they're giving. Um, you get a little bit less zest. However, you, you're getting a Mew, you're getting uh, a bunch of gold, you're getting holy water, which is technically a value of $30, which is a full pull, so 700 and in my opinion, worthwhile way more. So um, this is not about lab, but I hope that this shows that the company isn't entirely tone death and will proceed with kind of similar actions regarding feedback from us as well, where they are like, hey, we listened to you, we understand, we didn't handle this in the most optimal way, let us change it. Let us think internally about it, how the best way is that we can like, remedy it for the majority of players. All right, so that's already it. I hope this was short enough. And yeah, um, there will be another video coming out. Definitely be excited for that. It's a huge podcast with some of my favorite creators for Axis Heroes. So definitely like, subscribe, do all the good stuff and check in for that next video. As always, it was a pleasure to have you here and I will see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy the grind.